Laura, set it there and hold Miles. Okay. Set it there and hold Miles. Okay. Can I already it down? Okay, so what we're talking about, is it on? Yeah, okay. Yes. So I'm not sure where the video cut off, where it didn't, but um, what we're talking about is mom is saying that she has celiacs. And, um, and then she's wondering whether Miles has other issues, but she was also suggesting that it's a possibility that he is on the autism spectrum. Um, I don't you like to use the word disorder, but on the autism spectrum. Um, that being said, that is not a bad thing, okay? I don't want to make that sound like that's a terrible thing. The reason why, because I have high, um, uh, I, lots of suggestions that says to me when I'm working with him that he has more of the um, autistic tendencies than the cerebral palsy tendencies. He's got some cerebral palsy more than autistic. But the good thing, you see, the good thing about that is a lot of that can be gut issues. We know with Asperger's, we know with autism that, uh, is it still on? Yep. Or, okay. yep. Um, we know with these issues that a lot of them are very gut issued oriented. Yeah. So that being said, my first suggestion and that can be taken care of greatly, especially at this young age. My first suggestion is, is that you run the MTHFR test, which is the methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase test. It is a simple, inexpensive blood test that shows genetically whether you are homozygous or heterozygous. It shows whether you carry the gene from one parent or both parents. Mm -hmm. It lets you know whether your body or your liver methylates. Okay, If your liver does not methylate, the, the methyl ion is kind of like the trash men. The trash men come and pick up the trash that the liver is dumping out. Mm -hmm. if, that's the methyl. Okay, If the trash man doesn't come, it just builds up. It just builds up. And so what happens is it kicks back into the bloodstream and you got now you have trash going everywhere, which is toxin. So what we need to do is we need to go to not just the trash men, meaning creating methyl, but we need to go, who does the trash man work for? The trash man works for glutathione and other B vitamins. So we will actually not just give glutathione, but we're going to see who does glutathione work for, right? Who does his boss work for? So, and so, in other words, what creates glutathione? So all these supplements you go and buy with glutathione, that's fine, but I'd like to take it one step further. There's the Feldenkrais thinking. I want to know what makes glutathione. What's not making glutathione? What organ? What, what, yeah, what part is not working that it's not making enough glutathione to create methyl, to be able to pick up the toxins and trash and take it out of the liver and um, excrete it out through the bowel or excrete it out through the renal area. So um, where we uh, urinate it out or we defecate it out. So that being said, you when those toxins keep kicking back in, you get these spectrum. You right. get this spectrum. So He's let's... He's a different kid. Oh, I say it? He's a different kid when I, when I... I can't quite pinpoint what it is, but there's a point where, like, it's... Before he eats, I think he's got really low blood sugar, and he's like comatose, and then you feed him, and then he's much more perky. But I think when he has dairy, he seems a little stoned. Yeah. But, so, let's, we're going to do... But I could be projecting. I don't know. Yeah, and you may be very observant. Okay? It could go either way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Paranoid mommy. It could go either way. <laughs> so, that being said, simple first blood test. Mm -hmm. Get them MTHFR test. Let's look to see whether he's carrying the gene of not methylating. If he carries a gene, it means he's not a great methylator. So then we're going to work on that. Okay, and then we'll work with the food and we'll hook you up with a really good nutritionist. But first I want to get some precursors done and you'll see big changes. And it's not the nutritionist that orders the blood test. It's, it's the doctor. But simply go to the doctor and they say, I would like to have him to have the MTHFR test. Okay. And they may say, I don't know what that is. You know, and say, can you look it up? This was highly suggested. Okay. And then they may look it up under an NIH website or a med website, 
Um, but they don't have all the information about what MTHFR is. They, right. they look at MTHFR and all that they have written down is that, well, that's why a lot of uh, women that um, lose pregnancies are MTHFR positive. When I had a miscarriage. And okay. I just heard about, if you have miscarriage, I just read this, if you have miscarriages, you're also at a greater risk for heart attack later. So yeah, but that, the reason why is if you have the MTHFR. So people who are MTHFR positive have um, cardiac issues later on. They have other things. Why? Because there's things going on with the um, with the liver, and if the liver isn't being able to detoxify, the renal areas, the kidneys are taking on a burden. If the kidneys take on a burden, that affects the heart. Right. Everything is A plus B plus C. So um, we're going to talk about that some more. It's fascinating. I get excited, and let's see what we're going to do. So. Thank you. All right, you're welcome.